So Mega Challenge, day 29. I just took the uh, VSET level 3 blind tasting, so we're going to talk about that a bit today. And I was very worried about this test because I don't drink wine, uh, I don't like alcohol, so most of this uh, this month I actually spent preparing for the blind testing, but it turns out it was kind of straightforward. I uh, I cannot really see that I failed the blind tasting. It was uh, To me it was kind of easy. You get this... Uh, systematic approach to tasting and what you do is you're going to, you're going to more or less follow this list uh, obviously you won't have this with you for the blind tasting but it's very easy to memorize and you do a uh, hundred uh, samples so you have it like in your brain really fresh so what's going on here for appearance of wine you have two available points uh, one is going to be for the intensity how deep is the color and for the white swan, is is going to be more or less always pale lemon. Uh, you get one point for the color of the wine. Again, is it lemon or is it gold or whatever color it is. Call it as you see it. It's, it's, this one is very straightforward. So even if you are uh, colorblind, do pale lemon and uh, medium ruby for the red wine and you're good to go. Uh, for the nose, here you have seven available marks. Uh, first one being intensity. How well can you smell the flavors? How uh, how many different senses can you pick up? How complex is this? And you probably, if you get a test like me, you will get either really good or really bad. So it's either going to be light or it's going to be pronounced. So it's not going to be anything in between there. And then the aroma is Just write down whatever you feel that you have a hint of. Like... Uh, if it's a white wine, do uh, lemon lime. That's a safe bet. Or if it's uh, tropical, just do every tropical fruit you can you can imagine. For the red ones, it's going to be red or black fruit, and also some secondary and tertiary. So just put down those as as you send them. And uh, then we have the palette, and we have nine available points for the white wine and ten for the red ones, as we have tannins to consider there as well. Uh, you will have one for the sweetness. Again, it's most of the time going to be dry for both wines, so if you uh, if you don't feel any taste, just go dry. Acidity, and uh, yeah, this one is, is kind of tough in the beginning, but when you get a hang of it, it's very easy as well. The tan is for the red one, how, how sticky is it in the mouth. The body of the wine is also kind of tricky in the beginning, but you get a hang of it. Uh, flavor intensity, <laughs> tip here. Put down exactly what you put on on the nose. So if you felt a lot of smells, do the pronounced on on the palate as well. Uh, and the finish: how long does the uh, the taste stay in your mouth after you um, you spit it out? And more or less, again, they are going to give you a real bad wine or a real good wine. And the and the bad wine is going to just go ahead and disappear, and the good and the good one is going to it's going to just stay there. And then you have two more points. You have one for assessment of quality. Again. Probably going to have one outstanding or very good wine and one good or acceptable wine. That's my guess. And then the last thing you'll do with your last point is going to be redness for drinking. And you will not have something that's too young and you will not have something that's too old. So either it's drink now, not suitable for further aging, or drink now, has potential for uh, aging. So that's how easy that is. And uh, again, 20 available points for the uh, white wine and 21 for the red wines. And you only need 55%. And you more or less can guess your way into the 55%. Uh, if you're doing this test, I, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's going to be enough with what you do in class. Uh, in my case, so I realized the minute she bought out the, uh, the wines that we're going to taste, I saw the bottle. I saw the deep intensity of the uh, the white wine. It was almost dark, and it was really it looked thick almost. So I realized this is going to be a sweet wine. I know it. And out of these hundred samples that you get during the week, only a very few of them will be sweet. So that that was ah, oh, I was not happy when I saw that one. But it was kind of good. It can only be from a premium producer because it was so intense. It was so complex. Everything about it was really, really big and it was so balanced. So I just put it down as a, as a very good wine, uh, high body, uh, medium alcohol, uh, high acidity. Uh, it was sweet. It was, uh, it was just a very, very nice wine. Uh, out of 20 points there, I, I easily got 15%. Or 15 uh, points for that one so that's that's good 
the red one I think was uh, I think they gave us a, a really bad wine there because it, it lacked everything it lacked body it lacked intensity it lacked um, aromas it was just nothing there so I put it down as a uh, light body uh, light alcohol simple on the palate simple on the nose um, just an acceptable wine with uh, with no potential for storage and obviously the the white wine could easily store with the uh, the complexity and the intensity and all that sugar and all that acidity uh, that could age for years was still a very amazing wine the other one if you drink it two months from now it's going to be even worse so it was just terrible so overall very good straightforward tasting and it's going to be very interesting to uh, to see how i did on that one i'm going to update uh, when i get the results